Hey everybody, Invaders Unite here. Just uh, back with a few more invasions using the uh, Nox Flowing Hammer. I think I used the Crescent Moon Axe in this uh, video as well. Um, I absolutely love the Nox Flowing Hammer now. It's just so, it's so great. Oh yeah, this invasion's funny. So the host is AFK, and this is, this is one of those Black Flame dudes. So he's like doing everything that he can to protect the host. But he doesn't do a very good job. Because I don't... I can understand why he expects me to like, keep coming over there and fighting him. Like, dude, your host is right there. You better come attack me. Oh, roll caught. Wow, that dude has a lot of health. Or really high resistances. Because I'm barely doing any damage to him. Wow. Damn, got him. Got him. <laughs> well, that was easy. Let's see. Let's go with the next one. Oh, dude, this is one of my favorite invasions ever. This guy uh, that comes in to join me is amazing. The um, the the bond between two invaders meeting up randomly is stronger than the bond between a host and a phantom ever could be. Where I, I love this invasion. We're both out for blood. They think I'm going to come over there. Yeah, right. Originally, when I walked over there, I heard them powering up. They were hitting, like, uh, Flame Grammy Strength and some other stuff. <clears throat> I'm not walking around that corner and getting one-shotted. By some lightning. By Ancient Dragon Lightning or something. Because that's what they're trying to do. I thought maybe there was someone hiding back there. Nope. <laughs> Man, I don't know how that didn't get him. It's kind of upsetting. They're still just waiting. They peek their heads out a couple times, but it's like, man, they would just be, they would be in such a better, um, position. They weren't cowards. Like, if they would just come and bum rush me, they would probably win. <laughs> I have the wrong talisman on, because of course I do. Humble Wrecking. Wow, that's a pretty cringy name. It's hard to wreck somebody with homing lightning. Because that just means you're a chump, basically. Oh! <laughs> you didn't see him, did you? That's great. He's got a scary weapon, too, the Dragon King's Crag Blade. That weapon is scary. How strong it is. I feel like the Ash of War is easy to get away from. Like, if somebody uses that uh, on me, I'm gonna unlock from them and maybe, like, roll into their attack and then you can backstab them. Um, I've done it a few times. It's a pretty um, effective counter to that thundercloud form, or whatever the Ash of is called. Oh, God. Yeah, another dude with uh, the um, Naga Kiba and Spin Slash. What a surprise. Like half the people I see are using that now. Or like two katanas, dual-wield katanas. Seems like a lot of people are using it. So I'm assuming they're pretty strong. Because he did a lot of damage to me. One spinning slash took like two thirds of my health away. Oh, here we go. It's time for the chase down. Humble Wrecking has died. Looks like he was humbly wrecked. By a uh, red leader over there. He got humbled. Oh. Still running. I don't know where this guy thinks he's going. Like, I get he's trying to run back to resummon his friend or whatever. But, I th he like try. he puts himself in a corner like he tries to escape the dungeon. Like he literally tries to like walk out to where that Miranda flower and stuff is. Um, you can't do that. I don't know, he, he's never been invaded. Well, obviously they're, they're wanting people to invade, they're Tonner's tongued. Or there wouldn't be two of us, right? It's weird. I thought if you had, uh, it would, it's only one can come in if you don't have your Tonner's Tongue enabled. But if you do, it's two people. Oh, he was actually waiting for me. Cool. Appreciate you, buddy. Well, Alright, let's do this. This guy doesn't want no smoke from either of us. Oh, I like your armor, too. We have similar armor. Let's see. The hat. This is what makes my entire look work, though. I love that hat. The armor that it comes with looks stupid and cringy, but the hat looks cool. Oh, here we go. Spin slash, what a surprise. Uh, 
man, I really hope that person didn't want to land with that again. Oh, God. Man, I wish that did a little more damage, but look at that. <laughs> good job, Red Leader. Hell yeah, buddy. That was a good one. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my favorite type of invasion, man, where you really get, like, a good teammate. I wish it would have been three on two, though. Sometimes three on twos are a little bit more fun. This is a bad place to be in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that green bear is so strong, dude. It does so much damage. And of course, this dude is trying to blast from his blade. It's a weapon that's easy to shoot people with, but you get someone that knows how to dodge it, and that's all you know how to do, you're about to be in trouble. I think the bear's damage is what got him, but he was definitely trapped. Like, look at this guy's connection. What is even going on here? Taku. Like the bear did when hit him. Super weird. I, I've been seeing that a lot recently. A lot of people survive just because their connection is bad. Um, okay. Berserker. Oh. They're sitting down there. I can't remember hey. if this is like if they're wanting to gank people or if they're just trying to fight the fire giant. I think they're probably trying to gank people. Let's get to it. Because it's like, yeah, see the warm welcome? Uh, to me, that just looks like come get it. They both have the same weapon. the um, That colossal sword, the one that raises your stats. That has like endure, but it raises your stats. I don't know, I, I don't really use that. If I'm going to use a colossal sword, I use the watchdogs or the uh, troll's golden sword. I love the troll's golden sword, it's so good. Alright, let's get in here and see what we can do. So, dude's got fist weapons, and the other dude has a greatsword. What happened to their other colossal? What is it to just bring up their stats and then they switch to a different weapon? Hmm. Oh, what? What's going on? I thought you guys wanted to fight. Oh, okay, well, uh, I'm gonna get in there. Why not? Let's get stuck in. Okay. And Berserker. And Berserker fell down. Huh? Rest. I knew he was just gonna keep going that fast. Got him. God, that goes so far, that flying storm. I love it. It just goes so far. Ouch. I can't believe he tried to block it. It was a mistake. Oh, got him. Ooh, that hurt. This guy's so mad, dude. Like, you already lost, and he's just like, run it, run, attack, run, attack, run, attack, dude. He was salty. Huh. Sorry, buddy. Sometimes I just can't help it. Oh, Grand Cloister. Bon Quiqui. What's up, Bon Quiqui? Ooh, you're in a dangerous position. You know, for a lot of people that don't have as many hours in the Elden Ring as me, like, um, a lot of people think that pest threads is undodgeable. A lot of people have a hard time with pests because they think that pest threads is undodgeable. It is not undodgeable. You just have to wait for the right time and then roll forward and your eye frame through all the threads. That seems like it's the best way to do it. This guy rivers of blood thing of course. Um, another Radon with the rivers of blood. Really Bon Quiggly, you made a bad decision. Like, you have a super good weapon, and he just keeps, like, running away. Running, running away, and running away, and running away. And it's like, man, you could turn around. I don't know how this doesn't hit. But you could turn around and actually attack me. But he runs back out here. He's, like, trying to run to the coffin so he can fog wall me. But it's like, dude, if you would have just stayed in there and fought me, you would have had a better chance. Yeah, he keeps running back in. Now you got me and two pests to deal with instead of just me. Ooh, ouch. The pest. Thanks, baby. Thanks, pest. I appreciate you. Oh, I love this game sometimes. It's so great. That guy, the, a lot of people get themselves screwed over by uh, fighting when they are not fighting when they should have. Like they run instead of fighting. Clutch this trick shot through his legs. Oh, I love that. I, I, you know, I had to put that in here. Like this isn't an interesting invasion. They just run. 
They go back up, and then they come back, and they run and just fog wall me. The host just fog walls me. But I love that shot with the jar cannon. It literally went through uh, big homies' legs and hit all three of them. It made me so happy when I landed that. Yeah, see, now they're just going to run from me. Oh, man, come on. Get back here and fight. They just want to run. Of course. Dude just runs right straight through the wall. It sucks. I hate when people fog wall you. It's like, just fight me. If you if you die, I mean, is it really that big of a deal? Like, runes are not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Oh, let's see. Leroy Jenkins. Oh, Leroy Jenkins. Who else? Who's the other person? Um, where are you? Hey. Oh, here you are. Hey, Lily. Lily, how you doing? How are you guys? Oh, they want to use their crab meat. Uh, I'll just, uh, I don't need to buff up. We can just do this thing. Alright, come on with it. Of course. Swarm of flies. Great. Oh, jump attack. Ooh, that had to hurt, but not as bad as this. Boom! <laughs> Blood. Blood them both. Yeah, dude, Lily must be pretty high level because I didn't like do the same kind of damage to Lily that it did to that other guy. Alright, well if you like my comment, or like my work, please like, comment, and subscribe.